What's going on everyone? We are again back in Lewis. They got three new boats in, which is finally awesome. Uh, 21 PHX, 721, and now the 819. This is kind of their uh, all around value boat. Um, it's the same layout and everything as a 919. It just comes with lesser options and less, a little bit lesser horsepower. Um, these are all been 2022s. They just came in. Awesome boats, fresh. As you can tell, they like that black silver theme because it's really popular uh, around the country. So we're gonna check it out here and start with the trailer and everything. So this is the 819. You can see Sam Will package is 721. Gator high trailer with a diamond plate here. Phoenix light up step that comes along with all the boats. You have your spare over here. Bolt and jack, swing away tongue, XLT, fold and winch, safety chain, bow roller. Um, this is an Altrex hummingbird boat as well. This is coming with an 80 pound Altrex. As you can see, it's kind of the black silver with the silver pins here, very sharp looking color. Kind of goes well with the trailer and the wheels and everything, the diamond plate, the chrome Phoenix logo on the side chrome gas cap gas vent for all people that are asking about what this thing is that's the vent 819 pro this is very similar to the 919 same layout big difference is this comes with a 200 instead of a 225 so this is a 200 this boat will run the upper set upper 60s low 70s loaded very fast boat this is an excellent excellent boat big layout up here for a 19 and a half foot rig it's very wide up front um, I'm hoping that they come out with a 19 elite and they raise this up to about here it'll widen the deck and I just personally uh, like lower goals so you come up here comes with a helix 7 open spot there for whatever accessories you want to add Altrex lights navigation trim your toolbar there recess trolling motor pedal again this comes with the two big lockers with a center locker these are the twist locks as well all carpeted inside these are very dry i haven't had issues yet with just ungodly amounts of water in my rod lockers um, you have your navigation light navigation light there these can hold eight foot rods on both sides um, boat buckles on each side as well pedestal seat is standard center rod locker center locker is big It goes all the way up. You can put so much stuff in there. It's got all storage up front. Bungees everywhere. Bungees, put all your tackle boxes. Ooh, the smell of new fiberglass. You have your stick, measuring board, your foam pad here to put all your hooks and stuff in. And then you have on this side rod locker you have your rod tubes as well all the boxes in here so so much room moose antlers for the butt ends of the rods it goes through to the passenger side tons of storage tons of space on this this boat come down here to the cockpit area you have your tool holder here cooler with the pad underneath here the insulation all the uh, drainage channels here as you can see there's just drainage channels for water to run off your accessory boxes here like all the other boats it's got so you can put stuff underneath to hide from your buddies or your co-anglers all your secret baits has the uh, this comes standard with all the boats as well this is your passenger rod holder just slides right off this 
boat is ready for a second console. It's got the plate here you can pull out and put your console in. And this is where the cup holder, this is where the console would go. Again, you have your rod storage here for your passenger. Goes all the way up. It's got tubes up there. Pretty nice to have. I mean, you can also put like wet gear or whatever kind of gear you want in there and it runs all the way up through. So um, I've had guys put in like crappie rods that are pretty long. Footsteps there for passenger. And then you have your boat buckle there to buckle down your co-anglers rods. Again, net storage is underneath there. You've seen it, it's pretty slick. Net storage and drain. Come up here to the driver's cockpit. Stainless gauges, Helix 8 in dash. You've got your pro trim here with your steering. With tilt trim as well. Your accessory switches, docking. You have your throttle, again you have your cup holder and storage box there. Hot foot, standard on all Phoenixes. At least I've seen them in every single one. Carpeted cockpit. Center step has the uh, cups, tools, cups, tools. Center here as well. Very nice, clips in. Move back here to the giant live wells. As you see in the other ones, it's the same. I mean, they're just massive. Massive, massive live wells, even for the smaller boats. It's just, you know, it's nearly as big. I think the big ones are 44 gallons. This one might be 36, maybe. Again, you got your cover in the back hatch. These are a little bit easier to open. Back hatch here. Big, got drains. Very nice. Back here, you got the well, splash well, the Z Lag manual jack plate with the 200 Merc on it. Let's see if I can go in here. 200 Merc. Oops, I'm gonna move this prop. Um, come back here to the uh, battery storage. You have your trolling motor shut off. Your charger here, battery, extra prop if you want to keep an extra prop in the boat. Let's move over to the other side. These are all just accessory boxes if you want to keep like tools and stuff in there. This one does not have the power switch shut off because it does not have the upgraded uh, wiring harness, it looks like. But there you go, you have the switch for your uh, towing motor. Put this guy down. Butt seat in the back. Merc 200. Awesome boat for the price. This is just a great boat all around. Beautiful rig. But that is it, guys. That is all three of boats. Hopefully they'll be sold soon. Um, they're doing a show. End of January. Third week of January? Yeah, because I got Collinsville, Kansas City, and then the Lewis Boat Show. Uh, kind of like what we did last year. Fishing show, just kind of hanging out. We got vendors. We'll be doing demos, all that fun stuff. So smash that thumbs up, guys. Post down below. We'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one and peace.